Hello. He's bald. Of course. I don't think that was right or right. <laughs> you can't even say nothing. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't even, what do you say to that? <laughs> Rumors are true. <laughs> I'm bald. I'm bald. The cool thing about shaving your head, though, is it feels cool. You get, like, a cool breeze. You touch your scalp, it just feels, it feels nice. You know, hair is, like, overrated. It just slips right on, you know? It's kind of <laughs> like, it's just, it's just like a... Like, like a, a knee sock. sleeve. It's like a sock. <laughs> it's like a sock. For your head. You ever put book socks on your head when you were in high school? <laughs> Remember the book socks? Jada used to do that every day. <laughs> Wear book socks in school. It's a Jersey thing. Oh, fuck. What are we doing? Chest. It's chest day. My new Q&A is one of the most, like, common things I get asked. Just show me your cats. Oh. I'm always conflicted on how to make content because... My objective with content is always to provide some type of value, whether that's going to be, you know, it's usually educational from some perspective, whether it's training, nutrition, the podcast. Things that I have never really understood are the vlogs. I guess it's some form of entertainment for people to watch, but I just think about my life, and this is all I fucking do, is play <laughs> with the cat. I work, I play with the cat, I go to the gym, so it's like, what is there to fucking record? This is, we're doing it right now, but I don't know. It's just like... I wouldn't watch myself. But that's but I you. That's me. It's just my everyday life, but every day's an adventure, I guess, with Gizmo here. But, uh, Dude, you should make that a bit. What? Adventures with Gizmo. You ever see the TikTok? That's a video series. You ever see like the Instagram videos of the people that put like the the cats in their backpack and mm -hmm. they go on like motorcycles? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's what Cleo's doing with now. The, with the snow what? Bubbles, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gave a when we gave Cleo away, he's with this kid Zach in Denver. And they he do takes, that? Yeah, he takes him around in the backpack. He's a fucking adventure cat now. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, he's we out there. We gotta do that. We gotta do that with Gizmo. I feel like she would just. She's a rag doll. She'll literally just flop there. Yeah, she's not. She doesn't have the what's it called? The instincts for the wild. She just yeah, fucking no. get killed. Well, like don't Kodak let her out of your though. sight, huh? I feel like Kodak. Kodak. Kodak, 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 Kodak used to be an outdoor cat. He got stuck in a tree, and I found him. All right. Fuel for today's workout is gonna be Rocket Pop. It's a fat scoop of free HD Ultra. Is that the one with caffeine or no? Yeah, this is them. This has a, uh, how much caffeine is in this? This isn't even. It's like 250, right? Somewhere around This isn't a different language. It's in French, you dumbass. They're in Canada. Do they speak French in Canada? Yes, French, French Canadians, Canadian? you idiot. Is that the primary language in Canada? No. It's, it's English. A, it's English, but like a majority of the provinces can speak French. 260 milligrams of caffeine. Oh, that's not bad. Not crazy. It's a good amount. I don't like super heavy stims. Although I did just order the black. But I haven't tried the black since the original formula years ago. So I'm not sure what the difference is. I haven't really compared them. But uh, I'll definitely be trying that once I get it. So, fast scoop for today. This is a good flavor though. Rocket Pop, I like this flavor. So it's how's like training a, been for you? Training? Yeah. I haven't even been training. Oh wow. This is probably... My uh, it's my second week back. I did my first leg workout in like a month. The last leg workout I did was the one I did with you and her. Oh yeah, uh, Tillis. <laughs> it wasn't that even was, a leg day. You started convulsing like just uncontrollably. And my legs were shaking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was when I was getting cramps all the time. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't walk anywhere without getting cramps because I had too much fucking sodium <laughs> and it was dehydrated post show. My body was just giving up on me. <laughs> it was like your shot, bud. Yeah. Every time I walked down the stairs, it was like. About to give out, <laughs> but um, second chest back. I don't know how hard we're gonna go today. I'm just kind of getting back into it, trying to acclimate myself to actually being able to press decent loads. Um, I guess you could say this is the start of an off season, even though we haven't really started yet. So the real start will probably be like next week, but this is the start of getting back into training and uh, making videos again. <laughs> making videos again. It's the first phase, and then we'll probably be in full gear by like next week or so get everything locked down and just fucking grow. It's time to blow up and also fix my injuries because I'm trying to do that too. But that's, a, that's a whole other story that we can talk about later. So put this down, see you at the gym. Bald man in the wild. All right, so just warming up for chest here, the chest and shoulders. Right now, I'm only training four days a week. My current split is Push, pull, which is really just chest and shoulders. Pull is just a back day. Rest, and then full arm day. A little bit more shoulders in there, depending on how I feel. And then a full leg day. And then rest, either one or two days, uh, and repeat. So 
I'm only training four, maybe five days a week if I feel up for it, go by feel, but that's what I'm doing right now. Um, like I said, I've only been doing this for the past week. This is the second week back to training, and we're doing some face pulls, some tricep extensions, some push-ups, a couple rounds there, get everything nice, get some blood flowing. I already did all the rotator shit, all that stuff. You guys know I do my, I take my warm-ups very seriously. I do a lot of in-depth shit just because of the issues I'm dealing with. Try to get everything as mobile as possible uh, and also do some stability work in that meantime as well. But this is what we're doing right now. And then we're just gonna jump right into uh, incline dumbbell press downstairs. Uh, last week, first week back I did 80s and I felt pretty fucking heavy, um, but it'll come back fast. You know, it's just gonna get used to holding weight again. 80s? Uh, yeah, so we might, maybe we'll go for the hundreds today, but Trust me, in no time, four weeks from now, we'll be back at 130s. And then the 150s. Maybe 170s. Who knows? Go by feel. Go by feel. If it feels good, you just pick it up and move it. It's 90 for eight. I'll say I probably maybe had like four more. Really pushed it. Felt better than last week, so we're already already coming back. Probably jump up to 100. Just stay a little bit further. I don't want to push it too far. Just acclimate the loads. Get the body used to what it's really capable of. When you take these breaks, because I take breaks pretty often every year. <laughs> every every year there's a fucking break. I don't mind it though. Get a little healthy. I just got my bloods back today. Everything was crystal clear good, which I was fucking surprised. But <laughs> we're we're good. Um, yeah, when you take those breaks, you can't just come back and jump into everything at 100%. You gotta lower the ego, you know. Taper up. Yeah, you gotta taper back up. So first week I was working at like 60% of my effort, just feeling everything out, getting the movement pattern back. You know, we're working back up over the next couple of weeks to be, you know, at full capacity by the end of the month or something like that. And then we're just full blown blast. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes, sir. Come on, one more. There you go, that's 12. Fifteen. Fifteen, wow. I discounted. I thought I was gonna fuck me up. <laughs> Second exercise we're doing here is a high to low fly. Do like four to five sets here, just working up the weight each time. Stay between the 10 to 15 rep range. As we progressively get heavier, we're obviously gonna get close to that 10 rep range mark. Um, really just focus on getting that nice squeeze, shortening the pec and that good contraction at the bottom. we do like three or four exercises for chest, two for delts, not too much, just enough. Just enough to stimulate the the muscle, the growth process. when you're going heavy you gotta get a flick of the wrist otherwise <laughs> the shoulders just going right off <laughs> the fucking bone oh, that's pretty good yeah good set good top set now we can do a 
do this uh, flat, flat press. A flat hammer strength. Yeah. Chest press. A couple good sets in there. Maybe a rest pause. Maybe we'll just do one, one fat rest pause set. I haven't done those in a while. Can't forget the carb HG. Don't say what my carb HG is. Pineapple shit is. I don't even. I think it's pineapple grease. Man, that's flavor. It's fucking good. That's crack. Um, what's going on with you? What's going on with you guys? You guys miss them? It's been two weeks. It's been two weeks. In the past two weeks, I've gotten a lot of work done. It's been quite productive. You know, just because uh, I haven't been posting too much doesn't mean I'm not grinding. I'm always grinding. What are you looking at me for? This video that I that I saw, I don't remember what it was, who it was or something. It was some fucking TikTok, and they were talking about you know their gym outfit. Everything everything I see on TikTok now is about this fucking TikTok shop. I'm still not even sure what the fuck it is or how it works. Yeah. But I'm sick and tired of fucking opening the feed and I, seeing something about the TikTok shop. Anyways, they were talking about like white beater or something. Everybody's like, I don't know what it is. It's like I'm like stuck in the fucking like. What is it? Like, I'm like in a different dimension where like people discover things that have been around for fucking 50 years. Like, white beaters are fucking rev revolutionary now. But, anyways, I was talking about, oh, the white beaters. Um, he's talking about, you know, going to the gym and how it's like the highlight of their day. So, you always want the outfit to be on fleek or some shit like that, right? You know, it's the only time of the day I go out, right? So, you know, I gotta dress right for it. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Okay, you have no life. Bodybuilding, I guess, like, bodybuilders in general don't have a fucking life, right? But, like, if, I guess if you want to go to the gym and, like, you want to dress nice and it makes you feel good, like, it just puts you in a better mood to get a better workout, sure, fine, whatever. But the impression I got from, like, that video was I got to look good to go impress people and I go there for fucking attention and I got to have my best fit on. It's just fucking retarded. Like, it just sounds like people go to the gym as a social. It's a, yeah, it's a social thing. It's not like, it is, a, yeah. Yeah, it's like you go there to socialize. I gotta look good. So I'm going out to the club. Like, people gotta, people care how I look. What do you give a fuck? Like, you go to the gym. It's like, my priority when I go to the gym is dress comfortable. That's all that matters. Dress fucking comfortable. Yeah, I have some like nicer gym clothes and shit, but they better be fucking comfortable. I don't understand these people who go in and fucking wear these, these fucking cardboard t shirts and shit. And the fucking, they're choking their necks out. Anyways, that was. Well, that being said, HD makes quite. HD comfortable. makes very comfortable clothes. They are top of the line quality, A1. Uh, Wagyu beef. Kiss your grandmother. Yeah, kiss your grandmother. Tell I said hello. Hey, what's going on? I'm Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> tell your mother I said hello. What did you say? <laughs> 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 oh my god. You cannot get HD clothes on the TikTok shop yet. I don't know if you ever will be able to. I'm gonna take TikTok down. I don't care what it takes. <laughs> Wasn't that Trump's mission? Yeah. To get TikTok taken down? If there's one bad thing I could say about Trump, it's that he didn't get TikTok taken down. That let me down. I was really rooting for that one. But, you know, now we're, here we are. Chinese government. Now I lost all my fucking hair. And, uh, you know what's funny? The first video we made together was a push day here. You were also bald. <laughs> And it was the thumbnail was well, history always repeats itself. Guess I'm getting sixth place next year too. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Those of you who know me know that I fucking love dumbbell flies, and I like to go heavy on them. The really put these up here. I'm not going downstairs, so we gotta work with what we got. Dumbbell flies are really good for just loading the stretch on the chest. Um, a lot of people will say negative shit about them, but people say a lot of dumb shit. I typically just like to implement these more so towards the end again to load the stretch and get everything open i'll even hold the stretch for like 60 seconds on the last set here um just as a loaded stretch and then you have cables like i did earlier um and those are a lot better for you get a good stretch on them 100 percent, but they're also much better for really getting that peak attraction these not so as much but you can really get that just loaded fucking stretch um but yeah we're just gonna do as many reps as we can with the fitties here because that's all we got probably do like two sets you know, ever since i shaved my head I have like this weird urge to just rub it on everything. Like a cat.
Not too bad. Good 15. Huh? What? You see the fucking vein in the side of your head when you're on mid set. It's because I'm a genius. My Is brain's that? thinking while I'm working. Mega mind? It's the fucking my most connection traveling. <laughs> you can see it just physically traveling. That's how strong it is. It's bulging through my fucking skin. Straight from the brain, right into the pack. <laughs> Chest is done. We're back at the house. And now it's time to have some real fun. We got M over here baking it up. We're making some fucking rainbow Italian cookies. If you don't know what these are, you're about to fucking find out. <laughs> so Sebastian, about how much of this are you actually going to do? Oh, I'm not doing a single thing. I'm not doing anything. That's what I pay her for. And she pays me in cookies. And brownies. And brownies. We haven't had bread. How long has it been since you made brownies? Your rent's due. What? Your rent is due. Fuck you. Oh. Yeah, it's been too long. Forgot about that. <laughs> we're, we're, we're due for some brownies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on over there? Is it social hour or are we working? To get nice and open. Are these cookies? Yeah, and expand. Can you melt the butter again, like 10 seconds each side? Yeah, melt the butter more. <laughs> what? Relax, mother. Just like this? Put the can in there, yeah. too. What? What are we doing? Is this a baking tutorial? Is that what this is now? That uh, other bowl of eggs. What is going on? <laughs> Yep. Ta-da! Ah! I'm gonna get the 4.4, the sweet cream cold brew. If you like coffee, get this. I am not even, I, it's like not even me saying this because I'm sponsored, it's just fucking good. I don't know what to tell you. Um, what do we got? Peach rings? I have, this is Ultra. This is the, oh, this is the stem one. Yeah. Where's Elite? Elite is here. Pink lemonade. Remember this? Pink lemonade. Elite, you know what I'm It's good. Tastes like pink lemonade. I would hope so. We got Vita HD. Uh, I really have never been consistent with multis. I take like the other supplements and shit, but Phil was on my ass saying that I need to take a multi. So we got Vita HD. I'm taking that every day. Uh, I got citrus bergamot because we always need that every day. A thousand milligrams a day. Carb HD, pineapple breeze. Need that. Also dextrin, intra workout, and it also tastes like crack. We got strawberry mango black. Uh, this is the high simpery. I haven't had this one in a long time. I think they reformulated it uh, from the last time I had it, which was years ago. So we'll try this tomorrow when it hit arms. Tomorrow's nice, arm day. Nice arm pump. Mm. I don't like doing like high stims mostly, especially before legs. If I do like high stims before legs, Dude, shot. Just shot, just throw off, feel disgusting. Um, get an HD because mine are failing. What? No, I'm just kidding. They're good. I was going to say, I thought your blood work came back good. So, uh, there you go. Code Seb. You guys know the drill. We've got new stuff today. Um, it's always nice getting more supplements. Wait, again. What? 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 what you... Ready? Yeah. Gizmo supports HD. So you should too. Hey. What are you doing? Why do we have a fucking what is this? Sugar. We have a whole thing of sugar? Since when? What the fuck is this? Yeah, bro, you gave me an entire list of different things to make, so I'll I, <laughs> I did not do that. It's a lot of sugar, wow. It's a lot of cookies. I wonder how long that'll last. <laughs> a week. <laughs> If we consistently bake every day. And it's a uh, stick of butter. Off season supply. What's going on here? It does look like guacamole. <laughs> a little more green. Do you want to taste the guacamole? It tastes pretty fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen her fail. 
how many times. <laughs> we really gotta put her to the test, see if she's ready for the next level. Why do we fall? Marriage. <laughs> oh, rainbow cookies! Oh, everybody pray to the rainbow cookies! Oh, oh God, I hope I'm never watching these videos. Hey, listen. When I was in second grade, a priest choked me out for having a holy water fight. <laughs> Let that marinate. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, it's a true story. Grab it. Don't do that. Did, he, this did he make you, um, like, okay. mm -hmm. ten Hail Marys? No, I think I got suspended. Oh, you just got straight suspended. I went to Catholic school. But all the other kids were doing it too. I just got caught. That's the thing. Yeah. You got caught. Yeah. What's the number one rule? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you copyrighted. <laughs> Alright, so it's Taco Tuesday. Every day is Taco Tuesday. It's, it's Wednesday, bro. This is how we eat ground beef every fucking day, okay? Get over it. The key to beef, I'm telling you guys right now, I don't know if I've said this before. I've been doing this since I was fucking 14. Ortega taco mix, and then you get the fucking the Ortega taco sauce. You gotta weigh the beef out before you put the sauce on. Make sure you do that. Don't weigh it raw. Don't be a retard. <laughs> Make sure you weigh your, your meat coats. Ortego taco sauce, seasoning, and the shells. You put it in the shells. I don't know what it is about the shells. Only do this if you're in off season. If you're cutting, I wouldn't waste the calories on this. But eating it in the shell just makes it so much easier. I put down 10 ounces of beef, just pop down five of these, like nothing. But eating a bowl, it's like, oh, this is disgusting. But you put it in there, or if you just douse it in the bowl with the sauce, it's just a game changer. So I'm gonna throw five of these in the oven, make them nice and crisp, put the seasoning on there, throw the sauce on at the end, and we got our beef, and then we'll have our cookies. Alright, um, eat my tacos, cookies got in the glue in the fridge, they got a, you know, form in the fridge, what is it called, condensate, some shit like that, is it a form of condensation, I don't they don't know, chilling. the cookies gotta cool down, um, so that's gonna take a while, so I'm just gonna wrap this up here, I'm gonna finish my tacos, wait for those to come out, probably eat the whole tray tonight, and uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, make sure you like this video, make sure you're subscribed, and uh, I'll see you next time. Peace out.